still part of the King James series. I think this is part, if I can load it, I can't remember if it's part seven. Let's see. In this video, it's going to um, be a warning. So it's going to be a book. Some false teachings. And if you haven't checked that out too, that's like a featured video. Do not take the mark of the beast. People like John MacArthur and some other people. You can see the video for yourself. You know, just a warning about John MacArthur. So I have a playlist, the Bible series, up to part six. This will be part seven. Short video. If you've been on the internet or been posting, talking about King James, people will falsely accuse him falsely accuse him of being a homosexual he was married had children they tried killing him you see those guy fox masks from the movie v for vendetta now it's popular because a youtube channel before anonymous was wearing them it's like that evil smiling ghost looking guy with that mustache he's like a white face and has a black hat that's pointed and he's got a mustache he looks evil well that person actually did exist and he tried killing King James and stopping the Bible. It actually came out that they found him and he was going to blow it up. And they, before they burned him alive, um, the person that was trying to kill King James and blow up Parliament, that guy that was going to do that confessed that he was a terrorist working for the Catholic Church. He was a Jesuit. And he wanted to stop the Bible, basically. That should tell you all you need to know about the Catholic Church. They killed a lot of Christians. They have a lot of false doctrine. Stay away from the Catholic Church, okay? And you can warn others about it. Um, you know, I try to. Sometimes they don't listen and still pray for those people. So here's a book. Looks like there's one left used for $50. You can probably find it on abebooks.com. I don't think they ever did a second edition that I know of. Otherwise, Abe Books. I have the book. I just haven't read it all yet. I read some of it. It's a good book. So I'm putting this as a video just so for those people that say, oh, he was this, he was that. This person that made the book is, um, you know, some kind of historian or something, I think. So he did like a one of those biographies on him using um, historical documents and stuff like that. And So you can check yourself because, you know, the reason they're calling him is to slander him. And it doesn't make any sense that he would be because he's married, had children. Not only that, but the Bible strongly condemns um, homosexuality. And if those people don't repent, the Bible says they're going to be judged by God and that homosexuals will go to hell and the lake of fire. So if he was a homosexual, which he wasn't, he wouldn't put those verses in. I mean, it's just common sense. The Bible actually calls, you probably know this, but the Bible calls out homosexual and calls out sodomy and stuff like that and condemns it uh, calls it abomination against and uh, god's against that it's not natural god made man and woman to be together and to be married and to have children um again king james helped you know get the people together but god was behind it and they came out with the king james bible and that's god's book the bible it's by the inspiration of God. Again, the Bible condemns homosexuality. So here's a book. Again, you can get it used or on Abe, A-B-E, books. And look for it there. Probably used. Possibly it's on a different website or something. But again, I have the book. I just haven't read it all. It's, you know, worth it, you know, because um, false accusations. Well, here's, you know, more proof. But you don't have to get the book. I mean, it's obvious that you know, the Bible is against um, homosexuality. So if someone just says that, say, okay, the Bible condemns it. 